16 in this game? I wouldn't know, honestly. Let's try and find out. All right, game set. So, um, this seems like it would be Sinji's pick here. Most space to run around uh, with PS2 having the longest stage. Nice use of Hydrant pressure on shield to give Sinji time to grab the, uh, the um, bell. So, see, that wasn't even a reaction. A lot of Pac-Man, um, you'll see them jump, double jump, and then throw out a Hydrant, but they'll just straight call them out on the jump immediately. That, oh, hey, for sure. No Hydrant for you. All right, tries to get the reflector at Sinji's the early part of the side. Sinji is getting all the setups and like prep time he wants right now. Dill's going to have to make the adaptation to say no. Oh, that back air would have been. A good yeah, it's real, really confident for Sinji based on like his experience with uh, Rob's spacing. Oh, Look, Rob's little glide with the hydrant was pretty interesting. Put him in a powerful spot. All right. Oh, here's what's roll? fun. What's that? Uh, Sinji benefits from Gyro because it gets him something to bounce his fruit off and re-grab. Mm. However, Sinji does not benefit from, from getting lasers. murdered by lasers. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so that beats uh, Hydrant outright. A That's lot of hitboxes do that. It's just the duration of it that makes it really like dis disorienting and discouraging for Hydrant holders. Then it's a good thing that um, for Dill, that up air lasts for such a long time and has so many hitboxes on it. So he actually goes for the reflector there again. I can't believe that. Was that like the... I didn't even realize Ghost had a weak hit. Ghost? Uh, um, f smash. Yeah. Uh, That's Inky, I, I think. Yeah, Inky's yeah. the red one. I'm not sure. Inky, Blinky, Pinky, and Clyde. Yeah. I thought it was Sue. Or maybe I'm thinking of something else. Sometimes, So sometimes it's Sue. It's Sue and Miss Pac Man. Gotcha. All right. <laughs> Gets it. That, <laughs> you'll see that all the My time. My favorite. All right. Nice. That was like a Fox illusion right back <laughs> to stage. Very clean. Uh, was that? It was on purpose to get uh, yeah. uh, Galaxian in hand. I didn't know that his own projectiles were affected by the water like that. Oh, they absolutely really are. Have you not seen pack bullshit? Uh, <laughs> unfortunately not. Uh, see, that's the thing. Uh, Pac-Man has so much depth with his kit that me not having been here throughout Smash 4 to That's watch probably play. true. Sinji in Smash 4 is the master of manipulating um, fruits over water. Oh, that was Hydrant. That was that yeah, had that, to have been Hydrant. That was Detailed into Hydrant and then Hydrant immediately. I think Detailed and Hydrant both hit Sinji. At the same time, because that looks so jank. Well, the thing you have to understand is that Hydrant is right. launched at the same angle a character would be by a move. Yes. So when they're right up close, one will hit and then the other. All right, actually, did he hit confirm the trip on that? Because that was fantastic if he did. All right, so that's like Sue or Clyde. All right. All right, keeping out with Gyro, really good job. He actually sets up his own little barricade there with Gyro and the Hydrant. All right. So usually when people go to hit Hydrant, uh, Pac-Man's want to look for that. Oh, that air dodge was uh, ambitious. Yes. Uh, not a whole lot to do with that situation, though. Either air dodge, maybe up B, or take the hit. Hope you don't die. All right. All right. Good call. Oh, interesting use of hydrant angles. Yep. Dill fading back That's there because something... he knows you can't get too aggressive. All right. See that detail that he knew wouldn't connect, so he didn't go for something tricky from uh, Dill. All right. Can we see the big 2-0? -oh? No! He thought he could beat out the bell! Indeed. He thought he could beat out the bell, but Bell just ate his gyro! I think Bell interacted with gyro and it dilated the hitbox. It might have been, but it looked like that was out for also long Also using Galaxian to get back on stage. This game is not over. No, definitely not. That's another thing, too. Just a moment ago, last stock, we had seen Sinji do one of the An classic... An apple a day! Yes. One of the classic uh, Smash 4 Galaxian combos that does like 50-60%. They're Another already at even, inky. and Sinji leading with dominant stage control and a percentage lead compared to a stock down previously. Oh, the poke off Hydrant. All right. Good grab on that one. Goes very low off of the air dodge. The tap. No, he's oh. coming back. He's no, not. he's not! Oh my god, I've never seen Trampoline not get someone back to the he stage before. He must have been a pixel from the Blast Zone when he activated that. Absolutely. Because, correct me if I'm wrong, the Blast Zones... Yeah. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but the Blast Zones on PS2, the bomb Blast Zones are pretty close to... Are 
pretty close to the stage. I'm honestly not sure. I'm not familiar at all with bottom glass zones. Mm, Can't say. It's so rarely important. But look at... So all that right. attack, he's slow... Oh, he air dodges. He yes. air dodges after the attack. Hold buffer? It may have been hold buffer. Honestly, though, the fact that he still had the chance right there to go for the up B was impressive. So let's see this again. Yep. So There's the air, air dodge. dodge. Yeah, he he had gotten the percent take there. He was absolutely, like you said, if he wasn't just skirting the bottom blast zone, he was close. All right, let's see if uh, Sinji can make this more, because uh, that was a really unfortunate way to die, mm -hmm. and it shows that Sinji's absolutely capable of making the adaptation. That last stock was incredible. If he can keep that momentum and get over and get past the unfortunate circumstances of that game loss, uh, this could actually be really threatening to them. Absolutely. This feels like a game three, honestly, with how Sinji had brought that back patiently. Most of the time when you see comebacks in the game, they're quite explosive, and the stock is gone out of nowhere. All right. Pick up the Galaxian. Going for the combos. Chase off stage. No No, way. it's not going to kill. See that percentage wreck, though. All right. Chasing Rob. All right, good job on the get-up attack. Get-up attack iframes have really changed the meta of getting up from ledge. In this Absolutely. Game. I think it's a pretty great addition to the Rock, Paper, Scissors, Lizard, Spock. Honestly, it was it was not a worthless option in Smash 4, but it was a very difficult one to use properly. Uh, Speaking of weird stage spikes. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, it's hard to say who could have been prepared for attack like that. Uh, Sinji going low in preparation for, I'm going to call it the Rob Tornado. Uh, uh, arm Rotor. Arm rotor, gyrocopter. The no, gyro is the other thing. The raffle copter that goes. Swoosh, 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 swoosh. <laughs> now that's a name I haven't heard in a long time. <laughs> We're going back to 2008. Obviously. 2008? Uh, no, I don't even know how old. Raffle copter is like, like IRC ancient. Yeah. Honestly, though, I mean, Rob's as old as that. Older. Oh so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Rob predates the internet. I remember when that reference was in was in style. We called our memes references back then. We All called right. them image macros. <laughs> <laughs> and it took five minutes to load one on a 56K modem. Speaking of five minutes, got five minutes to try to bring this back against Sinji, but he's, again, got a commanding uh, lead and oh, a man. good stage position. Wait, where did his... Oh, he still has it. Mm -hmm. He I pocketed it was... once more. Oh, right, he can do that now. So that was interesting. He... Oh my god, that killed. He Orange, you impressed? Yes. He intentionally threw the bell from too close to beta response and then punished it. It's Which you never so see good. Sinji do. That was ever. a full stock lead. Sinji's taking this to the next game. And Dill's going to have to play out of his mind to avoid a game trade. Mm -hmm. All right. Gets a trade with the upper. That's honestly not the worst trade, but going off stage while Sinji gets the chance to set up is not. Ooh, interesting pushback on the hydrant there. Mm -hmm. I swear, Sinji is a Friggin' computer, man. Uh, which is ironic, because Dill's the one who's playing as a robot. <laughs> well, you know, Pac-Man? Do we really know what Pac-Man what is? is? a pa I know Pac-Man is, is an evil doctor in Kamen Rider x aid Really? Yeah, he's a bad guy. It's <laughs> funny, pa Pac-Man's been in two movies recently, right? Uh, Pixels and Kamen Rider x aid the movie, versus Dr. Pac-Man, and in both of them, he's a bad guy. Did you see, I'm sorry to cut off once again, did you see how, I don't know if it still would have been an active hitbox, but he threw uh, the peach, it got pushed with the water back to continue covering ledge. Uh-huh, uh-huh. How does he keep track of all this stuff? Because he knows it. He's been doing this for he's got, five years. He's got the supercomputer mind. Look, Pac-Man may have been running on the most basic of technology oh, back in the that? day. Yeah, it's always funny. <laughs> he's always got the cannon, dude. I'm never ready for it either. I don't know ever when to expect it. All right. Dill not challenging what was arguably a pretty clear go for the uh, Hydrant on that one. He's trying to play it safe here, doesn't want to lose a trade, understandably so. I mean, I think Ooh. the key to victory. So, one of the scariest things at that percent is the fact that if Pac-Man has key... He throws it through the Hydrant, the Hydrant launches, and then the key still hits your shield or you. Yes. So not only does he have a setup, it's a full screen setup that's very difficult to react to unless you're full screen. Hey, this is kind of odd, but can we get a JPEG on screen at the end of this set of Sinji wins? <laughs> no? Fine. 
<laughs> what would you like a JPEG of? Uh, Dr. Pac-Man from Kamen Rider. <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's like a demonic Pac-Man head on top of a lab coat. It's so good, dude. Well, okay, see, here's the thing. How do we know that Pac-Man is not a demonic character? Right, right, let's, right. Let's let's go back to his initial arcade appearance. Where he's eating ghosts. Yes. Who, he, who eats the souls of Pac-Man's a bad guy? Yeah. No, here's the thing. Here's the thing. He doesn't eat souls. He needs to consume other things before he can eat souls. And when he's defeated, he turns Game. inside out. Yeah, it's it's a nightmare. Yes. What is a Pac-Man? A miserable little pile of pellets. <laughs> Speaking of miserable, these little combos still are getting is uh, definitely giving him the advantage in this game. Yeah, well, early starting off, 60% while a very respectable amount. Oh no! Oh my god, Smash 4 rules, do you remember? You get launched onto stage, that's it! Zero to death! death! <laughs> no! Dill so, is had enough! That, that never ever comes up now that ledge game is not as nearly as strong as it was in Smash 4, but uh, gyro, depending on what direction Rob is when he drops it, that determines your launch angle. Not what part of the gyro you hit. Yeah. So he got launched into the forward smash. That was the it most smash. It wasn't even true. That was the most like, smash if you look at thing it, it I have seen. It wasn't even true. Oh, that's so nasty. All right, Nair, Nair off shield. Just keep Nair, you know. Put some Nair on it. Neither of these characters have hair, though, so I don't think Nair would do anything. Uh, you, you just can't see Pac-Man's hair. No. <laughs> well, he does have eyebrows, actually. Yeah. But are they brackets? They, they kind of no, um, not brackets, carrots. Oh, oh no, because the brackets are fixed. Mm. Red line. Red line. Look at what you're doing. You're getting Dill killed out here. All right. Down throw. Covers. In. He's not leaning back to the stage easily. From a zero to death, this is not a bad comeback. Not uh, at all. Especially if he continues playing. Like, think about the comeback he made game one. Oh, oh that was a really good pressure idea. Oh my god. Okay, so down tilt, uh, the Hydrant, which is very low commitment, so Pac-Man couldn't have punished it, goes up, down tilts his shield, true block strings, and then goes for a grab off of the block string. That air dodge back was so crisp. That was like, like pixel perfect. Playing back, laser. Top, oh, the gyro over the going over the hydrant. Oh, uh, it looked like he kind of wanted to get a up reset smash there. or something, or a, or a jab reset for sure, but he didn't get it. Maybe, Maybe just a frame off. Galaxian just ate gyro. Oh yeah, a lot of things eat gyro. Hey. All right, Sinji rolling back there, interesting choice, but doesn't need any punish for it. Honestly, it was in a position where he probably wasn't going to get punished. Ooh, he's Good back. Down these down airs covering Rob. It's <laughs> interesting how willing he is to not. Oh, because up air that low, Rob couldn't jump out of, and he'd probably just die. Right. That was a solid cross. That's the, by the first way. grab from Sinji on set. Uh, I think that's the first one he's landed. Yeah, he has gone for it. But all right, good air dodge on that and one. Can't spot dodge row. that grab. Can't spot dodge that grab. Um, all right, good grab. All right, the little armistice over the bell because no one wants to fight over it at that range. Mm -hmm. Up. Put your hands in the air. Wave them like you just don't care. Absolutely. Another stock gone, and... Uh, but Cindy's evening it up. This is way closer. Absolutely. All right. See, another thing that makes that setup dangerous with Key is that you have a split second to see whether or not he keeps Bell or he goes for Key. Right, If right. he decides to throw it right away. What I find interesting is how Sinji's using the stall from his aerial downbeat to avoid... No, that was supposed to be reversed! There's no way he meant to do that. He had the punish, too. I'm sorry, go on. No, I was just going to say, the way Sinji uses a uh, Hydrant Drop mm -hmm. to avoid Rob Laser. Yes. Uh... Chases off nice use of down throw, downwards item throw to get out of a Rob combo. Good patience Wait, on that. Wait, did his holding the fruit keep the gyro off of it? Um, I'm not sure. I honestly didn't I think it bounced off the fruit in his hand. All right. Oh my god, he did get the hydrant off of that Nair. Chase, yep. All right. This is looking scary. scary. OK. All right. Back air to get himself back to center stage. Neutral Landing. air. Yeah. Hydra. Dill has been really good it's about Dill. avoiding those. Oh, the under the stage. That's really courageous and effective and smart. All right, tosses it once more off the hydrant. So Dill. much stuff uh, Sinji had to weave around, most of it his own. And that's the funny thing is that Dill has been super good about keeping track of uh, Sinji's. 
I may have jinxed that one just a little bit. Um, he was doing a fantastic job of keeping track, though. I think that was a poke. Um, it may have been a poke, honestly, with as much shield damage as he was eating from the key. Oh my god, this is Galactic damage! damage why just 11% down! Why is this even? What happened? They call it Sinji. All right, so he had the Galaxian and the Hydrant, and he was beating down on Rob the entire time, and he gets stage control off of that one. Uh, why is this so close? He's in a lead. All right, so this is still very dangerous. Out of the two of them, it's hard to say who has the better kill power if Pac-Man hits Pac-Man has the this less point. committal options. Yes, Pac-Man has the less committal options, but all right, that could have been really dangerous. All right, early dare. Let's really get anything off it. Oh, scary place. Actually falls out of the jab, too, so he doesn't get punished and gets himself the corner. Oh, right. I see how the how this stage is really helping Dill not have to worry as much about Bell. Yeah, catches Bell for him, and then if uh, Sinji wants to get it, he has to actively go out into no man's land and risk getting a hit. All right, the melon is in play. <laughs> He's not. They, no, 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 he is. No. What happened to the... What oh, happened? no, 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 no. You know what? Um, he bounced twice, but he was bouncing for more in stage. So he he probably went right past that trip. Let's see this. Hold up. Wait. No, no, I know what it is. You die instantly if you go below the camera. So he died on the final zoom on the smash without actually entering. Wait. He died before. No. Yeah, he dies now. Oh my god. He <laughs> he <ex> <laughs> This game, the, the, the final cinematic zoom has gameplay impact because that can happen to you. You'll die I, before you'd interact with things you set up to keep you safe. I actually did not know that's how that worked. Yeah, it's why Chromicide worked the way it did until they adjusted it. Because you'd hit the zoom in before Chrom crossed the bottom blast zone. No, no, no. There, uh, there's a... The, the way the blast zone works is that for spikes specifically. Yeah. Uh, if you exit the screen, you die. That's what I'm talking yeah. about. Yeah, the game, you do, there's no do, bubble. It doesn't have to do with the cinematic, though. That's still it's just the, so... It's just the camera of the screen. Okay. Yeah. Either way, yeah, you don't... That's it. 